Greetings and salutations everybody. Today we are going to be diving into Stable Diffusion XL or SDXL and I'm going to be showing you how to basically install it and how to set it up and how to get started with all the features. Now there are a lot of cool things that it basically is doing. One of the big things is obviously it's starting to support actual text and this might be probably the most advanced uh, form of text tool right now uh, in the AI space in terms of these image generators. And one of the first things we're obviously going to be doing is actually downloading the files. And I'm going to be obviously doing this through the uh, web UI of Automatic 11.11. And we're going to be needing the SDXL base. This is uh, around 7 gigabytes in size. You can also download the offset LoRa. This is like a alternative you know you don't need to do it but it will improve the image quality a bit and then there's obviously the uh, VAY file which just actually got added in 19 hours ago that is also another alternative that you can download so basically I do recommend getting the base one and then we're gonna be needing the offset LoRa or that is also alternative but it's such a small size no so why not and then there is the refiner and this refiner is basically image to image tool. Not everybody is going to be needing this, but I'm going to be showing you how to basically use the refiner as well. It is very convenient tool. And this is also another six gigabytes. And there's also a VA version, which got added 18 hours ago. So let's download these first. And now that the downloads are actually done, I have placed them temporarily here on the desktop. We're going to be opening up the folder where we have our web UI basically installed. And obviously we need to update our stable diffusion web UI in the latest version. And you can do this very easily by just typing in uh, the CMD here in the folder. And this will basically uh, open up the CMD. And then we just need to type in git space poll. And this will basically check out whatever your stable diffusion is at its, you know, latest version, okay? And then we can close this. And now we're going to be placing out the models into their right folders. In case you have done this before already, it is quite simple. So we're going to be going into uh, models. And then we're going to be going to stable diffusion. And we're going to be pasting them here. And this is going to be taking quite some time, uh, obviously. So in the meanwhile, I'm just also going to be copying the LoRa. And we're going to be moving into another file folder here. We're going to be going into so one, one space back. And we're going to be checking out the LoRa folder. I got a lot of LoRa's here already. And we're going to be pasting this also here as well. And now we're going to be just waiting until these are going to be done. And we can start... Uh, actually launching the actual web UI in a second after we do a one change. And after we have placed the models into the right location, and then we're going to be uh, launching the user path because everything has been now set out and it will basically show out the right versions, which should be 1.5.1. And this shouldn't take too long to basically get all of these X formers and other things basically set out. And now that it's basically through with all the downloads and installations, you can uh, basically copy the HTTP address here, which is run locally. And we're going to be pasting it here on, on our web browser. And this will basically open up the interface that we're going to be using. And here we should be able to find out the SDXL base, which we're going to be using out. Okay, now that we have all the things ready, I'm going to be adding a pretty simple uh, prompt here, a couple of negative prompts. I'm going to keep the sampling method at Euler, and I'm going to be showing you how does it look on 512 and 512 on those dimensions. We have to understand that this was really made for uh, 1024, 1024. Uh, type of dimension. So you can see a higher quality when you're going to be adding out actually a, like a bigger image. I'm going to be giving out a random seed here. And now we're going to be generating an image. Uh, then I'm going to be showing you how it will basically look like on the actual different size. So we can here see already that it's actually pretty accurate. It's not like too bad. It's very cartoony actually. But once we actually add in the new numbers this should be actually making it quite a lot different and after we obviously use a higher dimensions the actual rendering time is going to be slightly slower but the goddamn look at this end result and compared to the image that we just had this is like night and day difference even more than that like damn 
This is a lot of detail. Now, what we're going to be trying now is the actual LoRa that we downloaded earlier. And I'm going to be searching it here from this button. We're going to be going into LoRa and we're going to be finding out the offset thing that we actually got. And we're going to be running obviously the same seed here. So we get the same result. And now we're going to be seeing actually how much of like higher quality image we're going to be getting by using this extra LoRa on this image but i have to say i'm really impressed by the sdxl quality here some people have said that this is going to be killing mid journey and i think that argument is kind of getting a lot more closer now the image has been changing quite a lot by using this uh laura here it's giving us a more realistic image instead of an illustration but i mean it's not too bad by the looks of it so this is also very, very good, very high quality, more realistic style. Okay, now that we have prompted our image, next we can do send it to image to image. And here I actually had a one tryout already. This kind of made it a bit more of an illustration and also had a lot more shadows here. This is actually a nice direction uh, from the original image, but it didn't exactly make it as photorealistic as this original image here. Now, I obviously need to change out the refiner here from base when you are going to be using um, this image to image feature. I really did try the original refiner version, but I had some errors on my way, which is very normal and stable diffusion. So I went with the V version. I'm also going to be trying to put out like some negative extra pumps here to see if we can actually make it out a bit more higher quality um, instead. And make sure you're going to be using, um, by default, it has set at 0.75. We don't actually need it as much. I think anywhere from um, 35 to 26 to, to 20 is probably the denoising strength you actually want to use here. And obviously use the uh, same seed amount here as on the original. And then we're going to be trying out what exactly we're going to be getting. As a reminder, do not use the LoRa we were using earlier on the positive prompts because this is not meant to be used with the refiner. You can obviously try it out and see what type of results you're going to be getting. But fundamentally, it's not something that uh, I would suggest you using. But let's see what the end outcome is here. Um, it is actually still a bit illustrative, but there are the significant changes on the eyes. For example, you can see a lot more detail. The iris here on the back one is kind of uh, inverted, which is kind of bad, but uh, for example, the lips and everything, like there's a lot more shadows in this image altogether when you look at the shirt and everything and the hair, the leaves on the background, and you see this tree over here, it's significantly different. But obviously there's going to be very different types of results with these refiner guys, and you're going to have to experiment with these. It doesn't mean that a refiner is making the images a lot more cartoony or something. This is just one example of these. But that's pretty much what I have to uh, showcase you about the SDXL. I'm going to be doing a separate video where we're going to be experimenting with the uh, text because that's one of the big features, obviously, that has been implemented on this version. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for further guides as well. See you soon. Cheers.